In this lecture video, we are going to talk about program evolution dynamics. Program evolution dynamics is the study of system change. Lehman and Bellady carried out several empirical studies of system change with a view to understanding more about characteristics of software evolution. From these studies, they proposed the Lehman's laws concerning the system change, and these are presented on the screen. Lehman and Bellady claim these laws are likely to be true for all types of large organizational software systems, what they call the E-type systems. These are systems in which the requirements are changing to reflect changing business needs. New releases of the system are essential for the system to provide the same or increased business values. Let's take a look at these laws. The first law, continuing change, states a program that is used in a real world environment must necessarily change or else become progressively less useful in that environment. This first law states that system maintenance is an inevitable process. As the system's environment changes, new requirements emerge and the system must be modified. When the modified system is reintroduced to the environment, this promotes more environmental changes, so the evolution process will start again. The second law, increasing complexity. As an evolving program changes, its structure tends to become more complex. Extra resources must be devoted to preserving and simplifying the structure. The second law states that as a system is changed, its structure degrades. The only way to avoid this happening is to invest in preventative maintenance. You should spend time improving the software structure without adding to its functionality. Obviously, this means additional costs over and above those of implemented required system changes. The third law states large program evolution. Program evolution is a self-regulating process. System attributes such as size, time between releases, and the number of report reported errors is approximately invariant of for each system release. The third law suggests that large systems have a dynamic of their own that is established at an early stage in the development process. This determines the gross trends of the system maintenance process and limits the number of possible system changes. Lehman and Bellady suggest that this law is a consequence of structural factors that influence and constrain system change and organizational factors that affect the system evolution process. Lehman's fourth law, organizational stability, states that over a period of the program's lifetime, its rate of development is approximately constant and independent of the resources devoted to system development. The fourth law suggests that most large programming projects work in a saturated state. That is, a change to resources or staffing has effects on the long-term evolution of the system. This is consistent with the third law, which suggests that program evolution is largely independent of management decisions. This law confirms that large software development teams are often unproductive because communication overheads dominate the work done by the team. Lehman's fifth law, conservation of familiarity, described as over the lifetime of a system, the incremental change in each release is approximately constant. The fifth law is concerned with the change increments in each system release. Adding new functionality to a system inevitably introduces new system faults. The more functionality added in each release, the more faults there will be. Therefore, a large increment in, in functionality in one system release means that this will have to be followed by a further release in which the new system faults are repaired. Relatively little new functionality should be included in each release. This law suggests that you should not budget for large functionality increments in each release without taking into account the need for fault repair. 
Now, the first five laws were in Lehman's initial proposals. The remaining laws stated are added after further work. The sixth law, continuing growth. The functionality offered by systems has to continually increase to maintain user satisfaction. The next law, declining quality. The quality of systems will decline unless they are modified to reflect changes in their operational environment. The last law, feedback system. Evolution processes incorporate multi-agent, multi-loop feedback systems, and you have to treat them as feedback systems to achieve significant product improvement. The sixth and the seventh laws are similar and essentially say that users of the software will become increasingly unhappy with it unless it is maintained and new functionality is added to it. The final law reflects the most recent work on feedback processes, although it is not clear how this can be applied in practical software development. Lehman's observations should be taken into account when planning the maintenance process.